And they also added transformer module. As you may know, transformers are very popular in NLP now. Сука, блядь. Малый пиздюк. Welcome back to Hot AI Papers, a show where I save you time by collecting and presenting to you the most recent and the most prominent advances in machine learning and AI. Let's jump into it! New PyTorch release 1.2 is out. And that's great! They also updated a bunch of other stuff like Torch Text, Torch Audio, Torch Vision. The most important updates I would highlight is the update of Torch Script which is a compiler which allows to convert your PyTorch model and run it without Python, which is pretty cool and pretty convenient. And they also added transformer module. You may know that transformers are very popular in NLP now. Like most of the state-of-the-art algorithms in natural language processing use transformers in one or other, or another way. So it's pretty nice to have them built in. It makes usage of them even more easier and convenient. But that's great. A relatively recent paper I want to tell you about was presented at CVPR and authors of this work shows how to reconstruct RGB image of a scene from a 3D point cloud. If to see, the capturing of 3D information with RGB data very densely gives you all the information about the environment, so it shouldn't be very surprising. But still, their results are very nice and they do reconstruction from very sparse cloud, which is important. Love it or hate it, but NVIDIA makes great guns. Particularly talking about the works of Terracaras and Timo Isla and as Isaiah collaborators. You probably might have heard about Pix to Pix HD or progressive guns, which were presented last year, but they were really revolutionary. If you're interested in guns and you don't know progressive guns, just check it out. As of now it's must have. They show how you train guns iterative iteratively starting from low resolution and adding layers to increase resolution up to HD and maybe even higher. Which is pretty cool. And what is also cool is the recent algorithm Gaugan. When I first saw it, it was just like, wow. It's really nice and if you haven't heard about it, you should check. It was presented first in March, when they showed the demo. And then they made excellent presentation at CVPR in June. More cloud will be nice. How about we plant a tree on the hill? Like this? Note that the same tree label renders into two visually distinct objects, the trunk and the leaves of the tree. Now let's change the season. Even though we only replaced the label of the foreground from grass to snow, our image generator did more than that. The tree leaves are gone, and now there's snow in the back mountain. If we go back to grass, the tree leaves are back, and the snow in the back mountain disappears. Now our generator architecture can start from random noise and use the semantic map at every spade layer of upsampling ResNet blocks. Moreover, the new architecture allows nice separation between semantic and style control. Changing the layout results in manipulating the content, while changing the random vector results in different styles. And the architecture is really elegant and beautiful, and everybody was happy and everything was nice. And just last week they released a pre-trained model for this Gaugan, that's why I added it as a new. But there is one strange thing. Recently, you could see the whole bunch of news about NVIDIA winning two prestigious awards at CVPR for some live demos. And when you look at these demos, you think that something is wrong. Like, you already saw it. It's the same Gaugan. Like, NVIDIA, what are you trying to show? That you can retrain your model on a new dataset? Or even not retrain? just to draw abstract scenes instead of more realistic landscapes and call it art generation? I don't get it. To the defense of NVIDIA, I can say that it's pretty natural desire to want to benefit from your work as much as possible, especially if it is such powerful and really nice work as Gaugan. 
And they also did a great job by creating all the hype around it. And sometimes in computer vision it's even more important than just writing a good paper. But there is no innovation. In addition to that, I can remind how they translated every image domain to every other image domain, because they are interested in data augmentation, they are interested in surveillance, in autonomous driving and so on. So they really translated everything to everything. Like segmentation maps to real world, real world to computer graphics, night to day, summer to winter, sketches to bags, to shoes, people to people, and so on and so on. And at some point it starts just losing sense. Not all of these translations are so meaningful. As an example, I want to show you this another piece of news. There is another overhyped work which appeared just last week and it's called Artigan and it translates floor plans with just walls and windows to the design of the room. Like another plan but more detailed plan with furniture and so on. So it's basic supervised image to image translation and they use kind of pix to pix like algorithm and it somehow works. But I can see multiple problems in this work. The first and the most obvious is that GAN generation is not so accurate, it still has a lot of artifacts and distortions, and even on the examples they show, the margins of the rooms, this colored area, they are distorted, they are not just straight rectangles, as they should be, which is not very nice, I think. Another, even more important problem is that there are some rules in architecture, there are limitations for builders. And designers, when they design the apartments, they cannot just copy previous projects of similar apartment. They should also consider location of water pipes, electricity, uh, the building details, and maybe preferences of client, and many other things. And yeah, even some basic rules of architecture and how it should be located or how it cannot be located. And let's say, let's say if we, should, we just imagine that gun. So, on the example that toilets are usually located in the small rooms without windows, if new apartment will have a few small rooms without window, it will, will put toilet in every of them, which will make no sense for a normal designer who will probably put a closet there instead of toilet. But GAN will just copy what it saw previously, and it will not care about common sense. And finally, is it really useful? Because the design stage is one of the most important stages during the building or filling your apartment. You can spend few days to making a good job of planning everything and then just spend weeks a lot of money to put in to buy the furniture and completing this plan. And do you really want to rely on the algorithm to just generate you this plan for a few seconds? Instead of ordering this plan from professional, you can also create it pretty easily and fast but then you will ensure that all the requirements are met, all the, your preferences are considered, and it's, this plan is actually feasible. So, I also don't get it. Maybe you get it and you can explain it to me. So, prove me wrong in the comments. Thank you for checking today's episode. I hope you like it. Leave a feedback, share it. See you soon.